Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news the Chinese are concluding that the G20 Trump promises are all hollow. It is a public holiday in the United States and their markets are closed. That means a key driver of the economic data is sidelined today. But of course there's plenty going on elsewhere. China said that existing American tariffs will have to be removed if there's to be any trade deal between Beijing and Washington. This is a hardening of their position. Further, the Chinese are having doubts that the Trump promise to release exports to Huawei will actually happen. That means some major agricultural purchases that the Americans expected may not proceed either. It already looks like the G20 Z Trump talks were pointless. Meanwhile, exports from major Southeast Asian countries to the US are surging as manufacturers scramble to find alternative production bases not subject to tariffs. Malaysia's exports to the US increased 12% year on year in May. This is more, this more than offset a 2.2% drop in exports to China, contributing to a good net gain for Malaysia. In the meantime, China is reviving its standard playbook, ramping up infrastructure spending to counter the domestic effects of the trade war. In the first half of the year, they've spent an extra $185 billion, although this is only about 0.1% of their GDP. Markets are also absorbing the implications of the two new US administration nominees to the Federal Reserve. This will add political risk to a core global institution and that will need to be accounted for elsewhere and in a way that the US can't control. Eurozone retail sales unexpectedly fell in May from April and data released overnight and year on year they're up only 1.3%, well below the 1.8% gain recorded in the year to April. This is the slowest growth all year and more evidence the European economy is going to need some official help when Christine Lagarde takes over the ECB reins. But she doesn't actually start in the role until November. In Australia, retail sales were also weak, coming in with a 2.9% rise in May on a year-on-year basis, down from the April rise of 4.2%. Analysts see this flatlining as a worrying sign. US Treasury 10-year yield is unchanged today at 1.95%. Gold is down $3 overnight to $1,415 an ounce. US oil prices are a little lower today and now under $57 a barrel as demand fears rise. The Brent benchmark remains at $63 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar is just a little softer today at 66.9 US cents. On the cross rates we're unchanged at 95.3 Australian cents. And against the euro we're a little softer at 59.3 euro cents. None of that was enough to shift the trade weight and index, however, and that's still at 71.6. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.